Hi Capricorn, welcome to your general forecast for the month of April. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Capricorn, we're going to take a look at the energies around you at this time. So this is a general forecast, so it could be anything. Just going to take the messages as they come. It could be general, work, prayer, finance, it could be love, it could be anything at all. So welcome everybody, hope everybody's doing well, staying safe at this time. So this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, male or female watching, doesn't really matter. And um, please only take what resonates. Um, don't try to make it fit. If it's not your reading, not making sense for you, then it is not your reading. So please either just click off, wait for the next reading. You can go back and watch past readings. I consider them all timeless. Your links are below for your general and love. Feel free to check those out if you wish to. Um, don't leave me comments how it's not accurate, it's not your blah, blah, blah. I, you know, I'm just going to delete those so obviously it's not your message if it's not making sense for you or whatever here. So please keep that in mind. It could be past, present, or future also. So please keep that in mind too. All right, so Capricorn, with that being said, let's see what's going on for you. And you can find your links below in the description box for your playlist along with the decks I'm using. If you wish to purchase them for yourself, there's links there. Um, social media links if you'd like to follow me on other social media um, how to reach out for personal reading if you like a personal reading and that info is below also and if you'd like to tip donate send a gift or something like that that info is below also and if you're not comfortable using PayPal as in a tip or donation super chat is open and available only during the premiere for energy exchanges tips donations so you can also do it that way if you would like to also and if you do thank you all right so capricorn after all that let's see this is a zodiac oracle we could get a sign element or planet see what comes out it could be anything anybody around you could get an energy of a planet a sign but if you don't resonate with this part totally fine okay we got mars energy which is aries so you could be dealing with an Aries in some way, shape, or form. Maybe you have Aries in your chart or somebody else has Aries in their chart. But um, the Mars energy here just ta does talk about competitiveness, does talk about competitiveness, assertion, aggression, courage, and confidence. So this does represent in the uh, tarot, in the major arcana, the emperor, which is someone who is very passionate, fiery. They go after what they want. They're a leader. Um, they have courage, determination. They have assertion very competitive, um, can be aggressive, have, have all that confidence. So that's all the energy of the um, emperor. So you could be sitting in that energy right now, um, becoming a leader or a boss or something like that, or finally taking lead control of your life. You Capricorn in the tarot do represent the major arcana, the devil, which can be about um, addictions, obsessions, um, not only that, maybe fear, kind of energy, negative thinking. I mean, it can be anything that's not so much in a positive light, whatever it may be. It doesn't have to be really, really bad. Um, could be something minor, but something that's not in good energy. But that doesn't mean any, doesn't mean you're a bad person. Just, just the energy of um, the devil and doesn't literally mean the devil. So, all right. So let's see what's going on here. Let's get an opening message for you with this deck. An opening message for Capricorn Spirit, please. Thank you so much. What is the opening message for Capricorn? And then I'll pull another one to get your energy. And then we'll clarify that energy with the tarot. Look at your actual situation, whatever comes out here. We'll get advice for the situation, possible outcome. And look at the energy of the bottom of the deck for more clarification. And then we'll get extra messages from this deck here. Work your light. A couple of extra messages uh, at the end for that. So... What is the opening message for Capricorn Spirit, please? Thank you so much. Well, too many. What is the opening message for, well, I guess it's that one, one to stick. So we have the ringmaster of scrutiny here. We have discernment, clear vision, and details. And this does kind of remind me of the um, magician, which is about manifesting a new beginning. But this is having clear thinking, uh, discernment, here, getting all the facts as I see a microfine glass and I see a lot of paperwork here. So make sure you have a clear vision, you know all the details, and you have clear discernment on everything that you need to know to make a wise decision here. 
maybe reviewing all paperwork, um, facts, fact checking is what I'm getting. Also, and knowing everything you need to know. So I see just a lot of paperwork and, um, and books. So maybe, you know, learning everything you need to know, um, about whatever it is here, whether if you're heading into a new career, a new path in life, you maybe there's an, a lot you need to learn, or it could be self-knowledge that you just want to learn for yourself. You know, gaining all that self-knowledge that you feel like, you know, could be about reading books. So maybe you need to read maybe on some help, self-help books or something like that. Maybe even on entrepreneurship, um, leadership, that kind of energy. And also, if you are dealing with um, contracts, paperwork, or anything like that, make sure you read everything clearly. Um, ask questions if you don't understand. Look at every little detail also. Uh, there may be hidden things in, in there that you don't understand or that you don't, you think, oh, it's not a big deal. Um, I'm getting really, really look at every little detail. Don't leave anything um, undiscernible, you know. Make sure you understand everything here before you make this decision, whatever it is for you. Make sure you have a clear vision of everything you need to know also, Capricorn. All right, so what's going on here? Let's get... That's your opening message. So that could be a separate message for some of you. Um, all right. I just saw this one and now it's coming back out. So here is the energy you're in right now. So we have the hungry ghosts, obsessions. And I had said that with the Capricorn energy of the devil. I can't make this up. Scarcity, consciousness, and attachment. We have 14, which is five, which is about change. And you have nine over here, which is about um, an ending. Coming to the completion of a cycle or an ending or something like that. And there's always a new beginning. It would be 10, which you are 10 Capricorn. And then one would be a new beginning. So there may be something here where you're wrapping something up. But before you fully wrap it up, make sure, like I said, you, you have everything you need to know. Everything I described earlier before this wraps up. Because you could have hungry ghosts around you that could say, well, there was a wormhole or there was a loophole and something snuck through here. And you could have somebody, some hungry ghosts here trying to, you know, come after you for something here. So make sure there's no loopholes or wormholes or anything like that. You need to change something or need something changed. Don't be afraid with the Mars energy, with that assertion to be assertive, to make changes either documents or um, anything like that there could be somebody you know something or someone around you who's obsessive um who thinks you know maybe in a negative mindset with scarcity uh consciousness that somebody believes that um they have nothing <laughs> you know that not worth anything they don't have anything they're never going to have anything um like a poor poor pitiful me attitude um, and or somebody that can be very attached to you also or may cling on to you for something here also because maybe they are in a poor mentality and uh, they are obsessed with that energy and maybe obsessed with you and maybe trying to like leech on here to try to gain something from you so be very careful that energy so what's on the bottom of the deck here so we have the spirit whisperer divine guidance higher knowing which is three, which is about teamwork, collaboration, people coming together. It's going to be someone that you work with or somebody you know in social circles here uh, that could be trying to leech on to you. But listen to your gut and your intuition about this. If you feel that energy around them or you get that energy from them, trust that because it's probably right. And it could be your um, divine guidance, your you know spirits trying to tell you to trust your intuition and your higher knowing on the situation could be even someone you're collaborating with so be mindful of that energy wow okay i feel like this is kind of a deep message for you capricorn and i was almost going to say eerie so definitely it could even be a boss figure or something like that all right so yeah, because I got the eight of coins and then the five of coins. Someone who feels like they work, 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 but yet they have nothing when that's not really the case. They're like always looking for a handout. So be careful. 
be careful of that energy. All right, because that is that um, scarcity consciousness. So, all right, so le let's see here what's going on for you, Capricorn. On for you, Capricorn. Let's clarify this energy. The Capricorn, what's going on for Capricorn right now? The Eight of Coins, the Sun, and the Ten of Cups. Yeah. So, and here, here I had said reviewing paperwork. So this could have to do with career, fine, not so much your career. I'm getting either with your finances or maybe you're like looking into stocks, bonds, or something like that, or um, investments or something like that. But, you know, review everything carefully here. Because you may have someone around you that may be in a low vibration trying to leech onto you to try to get something out of you in some way. And it could be through paperwork, documents, form. I don't know. Just be very careful because, you know, you could be sitting in this energy of the Ten of Cups, be feeling, you know, very fulfilled, happy, happy home and family, you know, feeling like you have everything you need, especially with the sun energy. You know, somebody wants to try to steal your light, your sun here, I feel. Be very careful. Uh, but the sun here is, you know, happiness, joy, success, victory. So I feel like whatever you're going, going, you're going to do here, you will have um, a lot of success, happiness, joy coming your way, growth, expansion, um, enlightenment, healing. Could be enlightenment, again, about something around paperwork and finances or something like that. So be mindful of that energy. So what else here for Capricorn? What else here for Capricorn? What's going on here for you, Capricorn? You know, in the world we're living in right now, be very careful that you're locking your doors, your windows, Some of you may have um, someone who may try to either break in or something like that. And I don't want to scare anybody, but um, all right, something just flipped here. The Queen of Wands, a very fiery, passionate energy. That's that Mars energy. Some, I feel like somebody's looking at you, watching you. And, and I'm feeling like I want what they have. I want what they're doing. I want... To be in that same energy, that fiery passion energy. All right, so what else? And I don't, I mean, this is someone who's very determined, passionate, but I don't like like the look in her eyes in this reading for this card in this energy. So just be mindful. It could be a man or, or a woman here. Somebody's like watching you. They could be wearing a false mask, pretending to be somebody that they're not. Yeah, the high priestess again. So you need to pay attention here and listen to your gut and your intuition about someone or something going on around you. Again, holding paperwork here and like almost like a coin in the other hand. Although I think it's a piece of fruit or something. But um, just be very mindful here. Uh, and be, you know, don't, don't uh, say a lot either. Keep a lot of this, whatever you're doing to yourself. Don't tell a lot of people either because the high priestess is very secretive. She doesn't talk to many people. So you may even want to stop communication with this person or stop being in their energy, even if it's online as of right now. The Four of Cups. Somebody's feeling bored and contempt in their life right now. I don't feel like it's you because you have the Ten of Cups energy there. The Fool. Somebody's going to do something foolish here. Somebody, somebody wants to reset back to zero. They want a new restart in life. And again, I'm getting that energy of somebody, because you see, even though that, you know, it almost looks like a mallet to me and somebody like kicking something in. So be mindful here. Somebody watching somebody feeling very bored, contempt in life. It's like they're reaching for what the other person is about to get and they want it. Uh, somebody does not have good intentions here. So somebody around you does not have good intentions. They want to steal what you have. They want to take what you have. They want to take your Ten of Cups, your sun energy. I feel like you need to stop giving your energy to this person. Uh, stop speaking to them, talking to them. It could even be a best friend. 
or a co-worker, even if you're just uh, on social media. Don't even post anything on social media either. All right, so what? I hope this makes sense for someone. Capricorn, what, 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 what is your situation? What's going on here? What is this all this about? Nine of Cups. So you're going after your wish fulfillment, your happiness, your joy, dreams coming true, abundance and growth. You're going after that. And it could be investments and stuff like that. The sun energy definitely is with growth and expansion. And you see a lot of overindulgent energy here. So be careful, too, that um, somebody here isn't overindulging, whether it's food or alcohol or something like that. The emperor. And I had said that with the emperor here is that Mars energy. So that spirit uh, clarifying that. So, again, you could be, you know, trying to own an empire or something like that. Be mindful here uh, of your energy also um, going into this. But somebody around you, I'm getting that, wants to take what you have. They want what you have. They want to be who you are. I feel like they could be very jealous also. All right. Eight of Cups energy. Yeah, I think you need to walk away from this person. If you know who I'm talking about, and I have felt that, listen to your intuition. If you need to pull back your energy... From this person I think you need to do that you may need to turn your back on them walk away from them kind of energy. if you need to tell them uh, I think we need to stop communication or whatever here uh, Queen of Cups so it could be someone here that appears to be very loyal loving giving caring nurturing kind of energy but really deep down they're very bored and com bored and complacent in life they don't like where they are so I feel like here they appear to be one way. Again, here's that mask over here again. They appear to be this loving, caring, nurturing, giving kind of person, but then they have that mask on and like that fiery passion look in their eyes, like jealousy kind of energy also. So be careful here. I see two fish. So somebody could be two-faced around you. And actually I see four fish um, like swimming in a circle so they could just be you know just I don't know just like circling you with BS or just throwing you a lot of BS around you and uh, I don't know here all right so I'm getting that same circular motion here with the eight of cups so somebody is swirling just a lot of BS around you I feel what else here the ten of wands yeah Somebody feel, feels burdened, overwhelmed here, kind of energy also. I feel like it's this other person. Like they feel the weight of the world on their shoulder. They feel like everything, everybody is against them. The world is against them. You know, poor, poor, pitiful me. You know, I'm never going to be anything. I'm never going to have anything. Kind of energy either. And if you feel this is a very taxing, burdensome connection, even if it's just a friend or co or whatever here, the 10 is again about ending. So needing to end this here before something foolish happens in this uh, situation. So let's see what your advice is. This is how spirit is telling me to read these cards. So this is what I'm getting. Some messages I'm getting for you, Capricorn. What's the advice for you? The three of wands. So if you've been waiting, it's waiting for your ships to come in, waiting for whatever it is you're about to do here. Um, but your endeavor is here. You know, you're waiting. But yeah, see like all that shiny energy and the ship coming in. It's like you're wait, just waiting for this to happen. Very abundant energy. Yeah, because there's your brand new beginning. Ace of Pentacles. So this is definitely something about monetary work, career, finances, investments, something here. Empire. Whatever you're waiting to invest in or endeavor that you're embarking on will bring you to this Ace of Pentacles. A very lucra lucrative, is the word I just got, lucrative business, business venture or something like that um, for the long term. Built on a solid foundation. Whatever you're doing now, putting that work in. So that's your advice here is uh, embarking on this very lucrative journey, but waiting, just waiting 
right now. Maybe it has to do with paperwork and stuff. King of Wands, so there's a very fiery patch. So we've got the King and Queen of Wands here. But um, again, that's like being that uh, creative energy, entrepreneurship kind of energy, you know, starting something new, feeling very fiery, passionate, go getter. You know, it's just telling you to go after it, do what you need to do here. You know, that fiery, passionate, creative, go getter kind of energy for this uh, long term, lucrative, successful. journey that you're embarking on that you're waiting for the right time death but you need to end something here that is no longer serving you too and it's right on this connection here with this queen of cups person who i feel is putting on a false mask of this very like sincere loving loyal uh caring nurturing giving kind of person deep down though they have this obsessive fiery passionate jealous streak and they they want what you want. They want to have what you have. Because they're in this Queen of Cups. They're perceiving themselves to be in that energy. But deep down they're in that Queen of Wands energy. They want to be a match to your King or Queen of Wands here. They want, want, to, they want to be at your level. They want to be your match. But they're not. And they know that. But you need to end this before something happens here. Before they pull the rug out from under you, they pull the wool over your eyes. The messages I'm getting. Wow, Capricorn. This is a big message for somebody. There's somebody around you that you think you can trust. It's been very loyal to you. It could even be for years that has ill intentions. In the long run, they have ill intentions. Wow, okay. So... All right, so let's see what's going to happen here. What is the possible outcome? Two of Cups energy. All right, let's get a few more here. Possible outcome for you. Judgment. So, okay, let's get one more. The Five of Wands. So there may actually end up being, you may actually confront this person, and there may be a very big blowout fight argument here. Our decision to be made in this uh, friendship or whatever it is for you. I mean, you could end up seeing eye to eye to them and, you know, judgment call, having forgiveness, resurrection here in this situation and having a peaceful resolution with them in some way, shape or form with the two of cups energy. But there's going to be an argument or something. Uh, you may need to stand up to them and tell it like it is. And then some sort of judgment will be made. And there could be some sort of peaceful resolution here or apologies or something or two, two people you know, coming coming into har harmonious union, whatever it is for you. So I don't know. Let's get a couple more here. So because I feel like you need you need to end it with this person. But let's see. And this King of Wands and the death here is right over this uh, big battle, argument, fight or whatever here, conflict. Are you going to decide to go into a partnership with this person? That's what I'm kind of getting with the Two of Cups energy. I don't know. So let's see what the Two of Cups is about for you. Capricorn, the Tower. So again, this, okay, this just could be somebody that, again, the Two of Cups energy you thought was a best friend, was a loyal partner who was some very loyal, near and dear, you love dearly. But again, the tower in the five of wands, this is a major fight, blow up, break up, breakdown, shake up, epiphany, aha moment. Because this is about, this tower here is about to come crumbling down. So whatever this person you thought you were aligned with, this two of cups energy judgment call here, could be the breakdown now of this friendship uh, or something here. Could even be a business partner. Wow. So is there anything else here? Anything else here? I mean, you can forgive, but you can't forget. Um, kind of energy also. But again, making a final decision, a judgment call on the situation. Once you get the epiphany, aha moment, what's really going on here. So something may be enlightened to you with the sun energy. By also maybe somebody else around you are just listening to your gut, your intuition, and finally just confronting this person. You may see them 
say or do something and they may not know you're there and you, you may overhear something or see something and be like, what? And finally, it getting the better of you and saying, you know, I should have listened to my gut and my intuition the whole time, finally confronting this person on this situation. This almost feels like a personal reading. Well, there's the world and I have, so there's um, ending a cycle, starting a new cycle, completing a chapter. So you may end up just, you know, closing out this chapter with this person because it's right on death here and leaping out on your own. So if you are in a um, partnership or business with somebody, I feel like you may just be going off on your own now, going solo. The king of coins. So, you know, <laughs> so now being, you know, very sturdy, grounded, uh, that's not you, Capricorn energy. So I feel like, you know, you were in the king of wands with the queen of wands, but now you're the king of coins. So now you're on your own, very stable, independent, and secure in the queen of coins. So you may find a new partner, or this is just double your energy, or finding someone more suitable for you, and finding a new um, partnership here. That's our match. We did have a match over here too, but um, I don't feel like it was a good match here. Temperance, so yeah, finding someone who's more your match, who's more balanced, who has more peace, harmony, um, healing energy also. Someone who could be divinely guided to you, who is the perfect match for whatever you're doing here. With the temperance angel here. And then leading to the Ten of Coins, total wealth, abundance, prosperity in every single way. So it could be some, a message coming in or good news or maybe someone reaching out. Hey, what are you doing? You know, I, you know, I just lost my job or something like that. And then now taking action. So you could be taking action towards this person and going into a partnership with them or them towards you. Kind of energy. Wow. So we have, let's see here. We have... Um, we have Leo, let's see, we have Sagittarius, the King and Queen of Coins is Virgo Capricorn, we have Leo, we have Aquarius, we have uh, Pisces, the Queen of Wands here is Aries, Aries, Queen of Cups here is Cancer, the world here is um, Cancer, no, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus, and there's one more. It's the fixed signs, if you know what the fixed signs are. We have Aries again, Scorpio. So those are the signs I see. So let's get some extra message for you, Capricorn. Extra messages for you, Capricorn, in this situation. I feel like someone around you wants to steal your thunder. They want to steal your thunder. Because you see the lightning there, like thunder and lightning. So be mindful. All right, so let's get some extra messages for Capricorn here. Extra messages for Capricorn. Okay. Oh my God, I can't make this up. Trust the niggle. What is the niggling feeling trying to tell you? And look at the dark clouds here. And I just said thunder and lightning. So trust your intuition, your higher knowing, and that gut feeling that you get about the situation person or something here you have you need to trust that trust the niggle i can't make this up all right so what is this now oh, let's take this one so we have here mintakin longing for home belonging the original light workers hmm. so what i'm getting with this um belonging. I feel like whoever, like this new energy coming into you, um, they may not be a light worker or somebody who like does what I do, read tarot. I mean, they could be or something like that, but I feel like it could be somebody longing like for the perfect opportunity for them somewhere where they belong. And then once this comes together, it's like, oh my God, it's just like we belong together doing this, whatever here. It's like home. And it's like you work well together. That's what I feel with that. 
and let's see what's on the bottom here. Birthing a new age, birthing new creations, dreaming a new world into being. So yeah, so new creation, uh, whatever new endeavor you're going on here, birthing something new, uh, dreaming a whole new world for you into being also, but um, just trusting here that whatever you feel is not right around you is probably correct, so be mindful of that. All right, Capricorn, uh, best of luck to you, sending you many light, love, and blessings, and as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.